Hi, this is David. Today I'm going to talk about Facebook, which is a platform I've been using for a few years now. But I just recently learned about uh, how Facebook handles deleted posts. And I want to share that with you. Now, if I go in here, I'll create a couple of posts here. And I'm creating these just so that I can delete them. And the way I delete a post is just by clicking on this, these three dots right here and selecting Move to Trash. Notice the message under here says, Items in your trash are deleted after 30 days, which suggests that they, they're not permanently deleted right away, but they will be permanently deleted 30 days from now. So I'll do that with both of these. There, there's a confirmation message right here. So now they're gone from my timeline, but they're still around somewhere. And it's not really intuitive where they are, where you can find them, so I'll show you. Up here in the top right, there's this little triangle. If I hover over it, it says Account. If I click on that, then I come down here to Settings and Privacy. Settings. Your Facebook Information. Activity Log. And Trash, right here. And there's the two that I just deleted. They're still around. And you can do some things with it. So one thing I might want to do is maybe I, I'm, uh, I'm nervous about somebody actually seeing this. It's something sensitive information that I don't want to exist anywhere. I want to permanently delete it right away. I don't want to wait 30 days. And I can do that. And I can do that with this ellipsis over here. Right click, or I'm sorry, left click, and select delete. I could also do the same thing by checking these boxes and clicking on that. So anything that's up here is also available down here. This is ideal for doing multiple. It's if I want to delete, delete more than one at once, for example. So the second one, why don't I just do that? I'll just re click on that, those dots, select Delete, and now it's gone forever. I cannot get it back. The other thing I might want to do is to archive it, which would place it, which would mean it would stick around for longer than 30 days. That might be useful. Maybe I didn't want to be able to see it, but I want it to be available to me. Um, I've never clicked that before, but why not? And, but this one here, Restore to Profile, that's an interesting one because sometimes I make mistakes. I may delete something and realize later, oh, wait, that's not what I want to delete. It. Maybe, I, maybe I clicked the wrong one, deleted the wrong one. So I can restore it to my profile. And again, I can do it here, or I could check this box and say Restore. They're both the same. But I'll do that. I'll Restore to Profile, and it, this confirmation message says Restore. Give it a second, it says restoring, and then there it is. Once that message goes away, it should be available. If I go back up to here and look at my profile, you'll see that there it is. It's back. And just so I won't confuse anybody that's watching this, I'll delete it once more. This is how I learned how to manage deleted posts, delete them permanently, and restore them. This is David. Thank you for watching.